The new GroupWise 18 client may come as a bit of a shock to some users. For other users, it will be more of an extension on the features they've already been using to their advantage. As for myself, I fit into that first category. In this video, I'll walk you through a few of the major differences between the GroupWise 14 client and what the new GroupWise 18 client will provide. For years, I've been a very utilitarian GroupWise user. Here is my typical GroupWise layout. I liked a simple message list sorted with the newest messages on top. I did not generally use the message preview option, but I certainly did take advantage of the folder list on the side here. It's kind of bare bones, but it's familiar, it's efficient, and it's always worked for me. In the past, as I upgraded the client to new versions, my settings were left alone, and I could expect a similar look and feel as those new versions were installed. With GroupWise 18, that isn't going to be the case. There are some fantastic new features that are turned on by default with a new client install. So take a look at this inbox, and next I'll show you a mailbox following the GroupWise 18 client install. Here is the first look at the new client. The first thing I notice is that the Quick Viewer is enabled. I'm going to leave that on for now, but I also notice that columns have been turned off. Group Labels has also been turned on, and Message Preview has been turned on as well. An important note here, these changes will only be made for the main mailbox. Your settings for any other folders will be preserved. In the past, adjusting the display settings was often underutilized because the options were kind of hidden under a layer or two of menus. Plus, you couldn't actually see what your changes were doing until you closed out of the menu and had a look at the screen. Take a look at what happens when you press this menu button right here. You now have on-screen dynamic change capability to customize your display settings. If you don't want group labels, you just uncheck this box. Same thing with message preview. Want to turn columns back on? It's right here. Now note how every change I've made is now highlighted in yellow. This is a visual clue as to what changes you just made, so if you don't like what happened in the display down here, you can just undo the last option to set it back. You can also undo all changes with this button or reset to the GroupWise 18 defaults right here. If you are an old school user like I was, then this GroupWise 14 default button might be your thing. Or maybe you decide you want the GroupWise 14 look, but add that cool summary feature back in so you can see the first line of the messages as they display in your list. Now let's talk about the message preview window over here. I've learned to really like it, but only when I'm using my big desktop monitor while my laptop is docked. When undocked, my screen resolution is reduced and there just isn't that much room. This button right here will quickly turn that preview on or off as desired. And this button right next to it will turn off the folder display if you want even more room for the message list. One final thing I want to point out about the dynamic settings option is they are context sensitive. For example, if I open the calendar, then click on the display settings button, I am presented with a truncated set of options because the calendar just doesn't have as many view options. Likewise, if I click on, say, the task list folder and then options, it looks similar to the mailbox, but notice how the column headings now reflect options specific for tasks. In my next video, I'll cover the new conversation threading, and that will explain what these little blue and sometimes green dots represent. Thanks for watching. We hope you find this information helpful.